Cascade Locks got to start as a portage community, moving freight and passengers around the rapids. Our rapids created from these mountains to the left of us that are sheared off. The vessel drawn today is an authentic sternware. The wheel on the back is the one thing that makes us go. There are no propellers, no bow thruster. Follows the lines of hundreds of boats that plied these waters from 1850 until the early 1900s. I've lived in the Cascade Locks all my life. My family came here in the late 1800s. When I grew up in Cascade Locks, Football was a central part of this community. We had a very active school, a very active community. We were vibrant. What kept the town going, kept it vibrant, was the fact that we had businesses here, and a big business that uh, employed families, and uh, had a real community going on here, but the timber industry went. We had lost our mill. We had lost the business that really anchored Cascade Locks and made it a community. And it just, it, it has absolutely almost broken us. Part of the problem with having underfunded infrastructure before long, you can't attract people to your community. I've never seen such a town with an age gap. It's like people go, you know, the kids, they go to college and they never come back. We lost our school because there's no family wage jobs. When we lost the high school, lost sports, lost all the activity with the children, we lost our community. I've had probably three friends move out of town because they just wanted to be closer to their job or to their school. And, and it's really sad because I know they love this place and they had to give it up. We live in a town where we have eight months of rain, 80 to 88 inches of rain. And the one thing we do have here is water. And now we have an opportunity with Nestle Waters to come in here and give us good family wage jobs that'll help our development but that also creates shed jobs, up to 120 shed jobs that could create to help our community. I really think you're going to see a domino effect here in Cascade Locks with other industries uh, fast on their heels because I really think this, this area has a tremendous upside and some tremendous potential for, for economic growth. The Nestle plant will be worth quite a bit of money on the tax rolls, which means we can work on infrastructure and emergency services and things like this where we're real short now. We're in an area that's uh, very well protected. We're in a, a sensitive area environmentally. We have a water system that was uh, built back in the 30s and uh, it's losing about half of the water that it produces. So we produce 8 million gallons, we're losing 4 million. Actually what leaks is probably no more than what we're going to sell to Nestle. Essentially we would be um, selling something that we have in excess here in our community where we get 88 inches of rain a year. We're very fortunate to have a lot of water. Why not make use of it? We have had a lot of people come in and have grand ideas of how to save our community, but Nestle stepped in. They have rented a space. They have tried so hard to do anything and everything to be transparent. And I think the people in Cascade Locks have noticed that. I think that it would be a real plus to have them here. I can see already that they're um, doing things in the community. And I think that would be um, nothing but a good thing for us. They've donated water. They've donated money to, to efforts across the board. Dave is a very honest and down-to-earth person. And I know that he really believes in the projects that he's working on. I see Nestle as an anchor to building this community, bringing in families, getting, getting family wage jobs for people here so that we have young families that will want to come and be a part of this community. I would love to see other families move here, whether they're young starting families, existing families, because we are slowly losing the population base of our community. And if we don't have people living here, our town's going to go away. One of the big benefits of somebody like Nestle coming in is they're going to be here for it. They're going to have a big investment they'll be here for a while. It isn't like a sawmill coming in and when the timber dries up or markets go down, they disappear. I think Nestle will be here for the long haul. 
that'll be good for our community. For a project like this to work, it needs to create shared value. That's value both for Nestle Waters and for the community of Cascade Locks. I have a very strong opinion about people outside of our community telling us what we should do and how we should do it, and that we're not educated enough to make our own decisions. When it comes to Cascade Locks, we live here, we pay taxes, we go to the post office and go and collect our mail every day. It's our town, and uh, I think that people who want to influence our town ought to just focus on theirs. You know, we've worked very hard on our community, we understand the needs. Well, I've talked to a lot of people that oppose the plan, and I simply ask them, well, why aren't you closing the other plans? There's like 28 of them in the state of Oregon, bottling plants. Why are you picking on the one in Cascade Locks? We cherish where we live at, and we want to protect that. I want people to stop here and enjoy the beauty.